a certain level, I admire and respect your zealous protection of the country. I truly respect I think all of us who serve any position in public office need, require, and should desire transparency. And the only way that happens is if citizens like yourself are constantly vigilant, vigilant about these issues. But at the same time, the particular issue that you seem to have chosen to exercise this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And I'll tell you what. Number 1,000 of citizens die every year because of drivers driving under the street, which is why these checkpoints have been held to be constitutional. And that's why the courts have required notice so that people aren't having the rights of use, give them an opportunity to stay away from the area if they so choose. Um, it requires a randomization so that it's not arbitrary and capricious, so that people aren't being pulled out of their car randomly, like this is some kind of Nazi journey. But it balances itself with the idea that we're being protected. I don't think you want a family member hit, killed, or harmed, or mutilated by a drunk driver. I find it somewhat ironic that you're using the officer's or sergeant's politeness against him in this particular case. But I'm also told not to leave my common sense at the door when I walk in this room. I don't think there's any human being with any lick of sense would not particularly want to be lawyer in the room, would not have appreciated that the officer was demanding you show him your license. I think when you're pulled over legitimately under the statute, you're required to show it. And I don't mean show it in a way that you put it up against the glass and you give somebody a note. I think it's clear that it is to be handed to the officer. I think that's what the statute requires. I think anything less of that would be absolutely no sense. And so in this particular case, what I think you think you're protecting and upholding some wonderful constitutional principles. I think in many ways, you're endangering the society. Because in many ways, by the actions that you took in this case, a whole bunch of cars, and maybe some of your drivers, went right by there and could have killed someone that evening because you were trying to prove some bizarre point. I think if you want to prove bizarre, no, excuse me, if you want to prove constitutional, points where you're requiring transparency to law enforcement is wonderful because we all need it. And there's enough out there that you know everybody needs to be you know held accountable and the more people are looking, the better we do our job. But I think you should use your you're a brilliant guy. I mean I, 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 you, you should be using your energy to do something that's actually going to advance our society and not necessarily imperil it. I gotta tell you I find it a little offensive what you do. And, and the other question I have for you is, is your sign copyrighted? No. I, I, do you sell them? No. Do you make any money or profit from any of this? I make pennies from the book, but the book isn't about this. I don't make any money from the flyer, no. Well, I, I, it's been I, suggested I can, to me, but I don't. I, mean, I can find nothing <coughs> in this case where the police officer or officers did anything improper, and I'm finding you guilty, and I'm adjudicated. I will find you a book. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.